what is up YouTube? This is Josh from here at American AF Dumpster Rentals in Dallas. Man, it's been a minute. Uh, things have been kind of crazy and busy and just kind of uh, been pretty difficult to come up with unique ideas for the channel and stuff like that. But I've got one that I has been has weighed on my mind since this, since the day I started this channel. Uh, and it's 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 something that I think is needed. Uh, it's something that I think has to be discussed. It's just that, well, I'll give some reasons why I think we don't talk about it. But uh, what I'm talking about is transparency in numbers and transparency in, in what we do. Um, I want to talk about that a little bit. And I want to start doing a weekly recap of my business and where... Uh, and how we did for the previous week. So starting with this week right here, uh, today is Saturday, so I'm going from basically Sunday through Saturday uh, and just kind of giving a quick, you know, sky high view of my business. Uh, these are gonna be gross numbers that I'm gonna talk about. I think I talked about numbers probably in the first 30 days of my business. And ever since then, I didn't talk about numbers very much because, well, I kind of figured like it's nobody else's business what my numbers are. And at the end of the day, even though I have a YouTube channel, I also have a business that I have to, you know, this is now a business, it's not a side hustle. And, you know, being open with your numbers for your business is really uncomfortable uh, for some reason. And it's just, um, you know, you don't want your competition to see it. You don't want people, you know, talking shit, you know, because you've got guys who are 10x bigger, or 100 times bigger than I am. Uh, and you've got guys that are doing you know, not even five, ten percent of what I'm doing. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, any hate comments are going to be deleted. I'm, I'm just going to tell you that right now. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm, I'm, I'm putting out their gross numbers, and I know gross numbers don't mean shit. Let's be honest, guys. Gross numbers do not mean anything in any kind of business. What really matters is your bottom line, is your profit, and that I'm going to keep close to me. Um, I'm going to talk about again gross numbers, number of rentals. Uh, my average rental, kind of what I'm paying right now for ads, maybe. Uh, I'm going to start talking about fuel and some of the bigger expenses, maybe even like landfill fees. But it's all coming for, straight from my software. There's no bullshit, no faking numbers, no fudging numbers. Again, there's some guys on YouTube, and I'm not going to name names, but I know a lot of you guys follow them or, or have seen them before that claim that you can make a million dollars off of uh, one dumpster. I don't know whatever it may be. Uh, and I'm just going to tell you, that's complete another BS. Um, you know, and I've, I've called some people out before and I am um, now not calling anybody out, but I'm going to tell you what my numbers are and kind of give you an overall view of how much it actually takes to get to that number or how much work it actually takes. Every market is different, y'all. Uh, landfill fees vary greatly from fifteen dollars to a hundred dollars a ton throughout the country uh so obviously overall gross numbers are going to reflect that as well keep that in mind i'm in texas my landfill fees are right around the forty dollar uh, a ton mark and um depending on where i go and uh and yeah let's let's get to it <laughs> numbers let's talk about this week recap right uh what what all went down this week so for those of you guys that do know or don't know um i did hire a driver as of three four weeks ago who has been full-time with me ever since he drives this mac truck uh, my new truck my international truck has been in the shop uh getting refreshed refurbed uh and it should be ready as of this coming monday today is saturday uh, for those of you guys that are watching this later on in the week, but uh, it should be ready this coming Monday and I'm excited to get that international in but for the most part these numbers are gonna be one truck basically this Mac and this Mac alone 
uh, that's been running for me. Um, and yeah, it's been it's been really really good. It really it really opens my schedule up to have a driver working for me, uh, running 40 hours a week during the week. Right? I do Saturdays, which is why I'm here now. Uh, if I had a really busy Saturday or if I had something that I couldn't I couldn't deliver dumpsters, then he would cover for me on Saturday as well. This week was pretty hectic. Uh, I felt like it was slow, but when I look back at the numbers, it wasn't too bad. It's kind of an average week for us. Uh, but we had a lot of issues. Unfortunately, the driver did make a mistake and dumped, went to unload the dumpster with the tarp still on, which caused the dumpster to rip the tarp arms completely off the truck, break at the 45 degree elbow, snap the elbows on both sides, unfortunately. And, um, and those are kind of hard to find. Luckily, I had ordered one the last time it happened, which I had another driver who was only with me for three days. I let him go. He just wasn't a good fit. But he, in those three days, um, he somehow, I somehow allowed him to break my tarp twice. Those were his, that, that was his fault as well. Um, so again, I kind of give it to the driver. Everybody has snapped a tarp arm at least once, at least that I know of. So I gave it to him and I said, you know what? You live and learn. He's been working for almost four weeks, I think. And that's the first time he, he just lost uh, track of thought and kind of what he was doing and wasn't paying attention probably. I've done it too, so I'm gonna be honest. So, and then my nighttime driver, my guy that works part time for me, uh, he kind of fills in when I need him. He has done it as well one time when I was on vacation. So, it is what it is. So I was able to. I had one order. It's called BTE uh, Body. They they had one in, on hold for me. I needed two though, and I had to go all the way to Paris, Texas, for, which is for those of you guys that don't know, uh, it's about an hour and a half from here, from where I am, and three hours round trip I got it back and we put the tarp arms on and off he went that was Tuesday Wednesday he calls me up he says well another piece of the tarp broke and I'm like what the heck what, what do you mean another piece of the tarp broke that doesn't make sense he said this time it wasn't his fault and I I believe him it was another section of the tarp that broke off so instead of me going all the way to Paris Texas these guys at Paris actually repair uh, the tarps so I had him take the truck over to Paris and this was on, he took it on Thursday. So Wednesday, he kind of uh, bought a tarp, hand tarp while he finished his jobs, his, his dumpsters. And then Thursday, he went up to Paris and they repaired the tarp. Uh, that was about $1,000, but I also had him put a whole new tarp as well. So a real heavy duty tarp from Rollright. And I bought three more tarp arms and like, uh, well, actually I have two. I bought three altogether two tarp arms, some elbows, and some 90 degrees, so I have all kinds of um, spare parts, which is cool. That was Thursday. And then today, I think the tarp is cursed, but then today, somehow, some way, I was finished with my dumpsters, thank goodness, and I literally pulled out of the last dumpster delivery, and the weld on the tarp arm mount on the passenger side broke. So the tarp arm fell on the ground. Luckily, nothing broke physically off of it, just a weld. I believe possibly what, it ha what happened was by him pulling the tarp off, it, maybe it made the weld, maybe that's why, you know, that, that whole mount snapped off. Didn't happen to him. I'm sure if it happened to him, he probably would have thought, oh shit, you know, there's gonna be a uh, hell to pay. It wasn't his fault, it wasn't my fault, unless it, you know, originally stemmed from the original. And well, anyways, long story short, we're gonna get that welded. So that's the recap for this week as far as uh, what I've been doing. I had the whole week to do kind of other things. I've got my house remodeled that uh, is finally starting to take off again. I'm going to post another video on that Corsicana house soon. But it was a busy week. Even though uh, my whole schedule has been opened up, uh, somehow I still find a way to uh, be out every day for 10, 8, 10, 12 hours. Um, so... With that being said, how many dumpsters did we do? Let's talk for Saturday, August 6th through August 12th. We did a total of 18 dumpsters. Mind you, I have 25 dumpsters that I have currently, that I currently own. Five of them are 30 yards that this truck will not haul. So that means out of 20 dumpsters, we actually rented 18 dumpsters this week. We placed 18 dumpsters this week. 
Um, remember, I don't do, they're not all seven day rentals. Uh, some are only three day rentals for the 15 yards that are included. Uh, and then my 20s and 25s are seven day rentals. Um, and then obviously a lot of people call and say they want theirs picked up sooner. I have a bunch of dumpsters at the yard, which is what makes me feel like these dumpsters aren't moving as much, but 18 dumpsters in a week is pretty daggone good for me. Um, uh, it's right about average. Last month was one of my best months months ever, which was July. And July, I think the most I had in one week was 22 dumpster rentals. So I'm four off the most I've ever done. And two out of the five days this week, uh, or two out of six days, including Saturday, we spent more than half the day trying to fix the tarp arms. So that's pretty damn good in my opinion. Uh, and even though I feel like it's slow, 18 dumpster rentals is good in my book. So again, there may be a lot of you guys say 18, that's all you're doing. Yes. Take that for what it's worth. If, uh, if I definitely have room to grow, believe me, I, I do, I want that number to go up. And then other guys were like, damn, 18, that's a lot to do. There was one last Sunday that was an emergency dumpster. Sunday, 14 Monday through Friday that my driver did. And then three today on Saturday that I did. So I did four and he did 14 dumpsters throughout the week. Uh, for a total of $10,101 and some change. That's gross revenue for the week, okay? That obviously doesn't include... Uh, fuel, landfill fees, uh, payroll for my driver. That doesn't include anything. That doesn't include the tarp that I had to repair, all that stuff. So I just pulled up my laptop to double check. Uh, and it looks like August 6th through today, August 12th, I spent $941. Average cost per click was $11.20. I had 1.36 thousand impressions and 84 clicks to my website. Um, I'm no Google Ads guy. I don't even know if that's good or not. All I know is uh, that's less than 10% of my revenue is going to Google Ads, and I'm okay with that. A majority of my business comes from ads, Google Map Pack, and maybe a little bit of SEO, definitely some word of mouth, repeat customers, and some advertising on the cans, right? So I have to do Google Ads, and that's right there is kind of what... Um, what I spent for the week, $941. So average cost per click, I said $11.20. Click-through rate. Where'd it go? CTR is 6.19%. Is that good or bad? I have no idea, but those are my numbers. Um, as far as gasoline this week, uh, it's kind of a funky week because I gave my driver a new card. So... I've got, I use Amex Gold for almost everything that has to do with the business. I use Amex Gold, American Express Gold business. I have an American Express Gold business card, uh, and it allows you to have up to 99 or 199 employees. Um, and I love it because it gives you all kinds of points. For those of you guys that don't use points, uh, if you've got good credit, uh, click the link below to American Express. I'll get a little bit of a bonus. You'll get some bonus points as well. But if you get approved and you spend a certain amount within the first, I don't know, 30, 60, 90 days, um, you're going to get a ton of points. And points are going to be really good to be redeemed on flights, hotels, you name it. Um, and American Express Gold Business does, I believe, 4X on whatever your top two categories are per month in expenses. So it doesn't matter. Like the other ones, like American Express Platinum, you only get a certain amount of points or 4X or 5X points if you travel. American Express Regular Gold is 4X points on meals, food, eating out, uh, grocery stores, things, things like that. But I want to get points on gasoline, on advertising, Google AdWords. Um, if those are my two top uh, expense categories for the business per month and I get four or five X I think it's four X uh, four or five X points on it you know it's gonna really it's gonna really count at the end of the year and uh, help me pay for some flights to go out of town for me and my family and all kinds of stuff so um, I use American Express Gold he had an my American Express Gold regular card until his employee card came in so his employee card came in halfway through the week I spend about $130, $140 a, a day, uh, Monday through Friday, in this truck, in the Mack truck and fuel. So you're looking at $650 of gas this week. Um, about $1,200 in 
uh, landfill fees and the rest is kind of you know uh, not pure profit there's lots of other expenses obviously insurance and overhead uh, rent for the yard uh, growth um, you name it and payments on the truck obviously I still own this truck and this truck right now is funding and paying for the international still because uh, the international really hasn't I've done a few dumpsters here and there but it's not paying for itself at all yet so that's where we're at those are my numbers it's all about being transparent i'm trying to be as transparent as possible with you guys because i'm sick and tired of seeing some of these other people and it may not just be in a dumpster business but a lot of these other guys just talking big numbers and they don't have shit to back it up for i can tell you right now i'm doing on average 60 to seventy thousand dollars a month in revenue i'm not but i could tell you anything because this is youtube um i'd rather be upfront honest and transparent um, the goal is to double this number when I get the second truck, if not even more, right? I only have five 30 yards, so uh, I just need to move those 30 yards. I'll be able to run some of the 15, all the most of my 15s with that new truck because I have it spec'd out that way, and some of the 25s, hopefully most of the 25s. So the goal is to get to as many, much as I can, right? There's no real number. But I want to at least double whatever the Mac is doing. I want to double it for the International. International has to start paying for itself. It has to start profiting. Um, because I'm paying a pretty penny on insurance alone on that a truck a month. Plus the payment. And this Mac is paying for it. That's it, y'all. I hope you guys like this style of video, this type of conversation. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there's something more that you want to see. If breakdown later on, maybe even a breakdown of how many dumpsters of each size are rented. Uh, for the most part, but I believe right now my 25 is probably the most. My 25s and the 15s go out more than than probably my 20s, and that's only because I've got a everyday type contract for my 25s, and my 15s are the cheaper of the two. A lot of people go for the cheaper options. Again, hope you guys like this video. Any questions, make sure you leave me a comment below. Uh, if you want to go to that link for the American Express, I'll put that below as well as the link to our website with all the resources page, all the details of who we use and, uh, and insurance and all that stuff that you guys might want to know before starting a dumpster rental business. Wish you guys the best. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Uh, and we will see you guys on the next one.